Hello, 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 and praise the Lord. I pray that you're doing wonderful this morning, this evening, whatever time you're watching this. I am doing a foundation only tutorial. Some of you may have the eyes down pad. You may be like, I know how to do my little eyes, but show me again, you know, the steps to the foundation, what goes on first, what order, all that good stuff. So you wanna start off with a clean face. Then you want to moisturize, and I just used my Charlotte Ludox Renewal Eye Cream. I put that underneath my eyes to hydrate my eyes, and then I use my um, Firming Day Cream, and that's also by Charlotte Ludox. But you can use any um, moisturizer you want to moisturize that's going to help your makeup mm -hmm. to apply um smoothly look good won't have dry you know stuff and cracks and all that good stuff you want to start on most moisturized skin then you know it's an option to use a primer you should use a primer um this will help your foundation to stay on to stay in place all that good stuff you want to put that on for the sake of this video i'll put it on because sometimes i go right on without that especially using what I just had it just I don't need it and then I set my face which we'll get into later but I'm just for the sake of this video um, I'm gonna prime and this is by baby skin and it says instant pore eraser now pores are when you have like those circles or those open little circles on your face if you have those I don't really have those but um yeah it's still a good primer and this one is good for those who have dry skin if you have oily skin there's other primers out there another primer that i had is this and it's um by hard candy and these are all affordable products that i'm using too so this is kind of like a beginner's so um, it's the Sheer Envy Primer Dark Spot Correcting Cream for if you have dark spots. I don't know how much this helped me, um, but um, yeah, you can use this just for the sake of this video. I'll just show you. And it has kind of like a pink sheerness to it. And anywhere I have a little need any correcting, I put it. And you don't have to use double primers. I just showed you for the sake of this video. I mean, you don't have to use two, okay? And I purchased one from, both from Walmart. So again, it was the baby skin and the other one was the dark spot correcting primer. So if you have very visible um, acne scarring or anything, this alone is, is not going to help. You're still going to need, you know, to color correct and all that. I'm not color correcting um, anything on today. So once I do all that, I usually go on to do my eyes and give that time, you know, everything time to set. But I use a very thin layer. So I'm gonna go right into my foundation and I'm using the Fit Me um, Dewy and Smooth for normal to dry. Shake that up. And I'm gonna be using my oval sponge to apply my makeup because my foundation, because it just helps me to go very fast. And you can use small amounts or depending on how much coverage, you know, from here you would color correct. Um, after you prime your face and all, then you would color correct. You know, that orange color corrector for woman of color, if you're fair skin, the red, um, or the green to cancel out any purple, you know, you would color correct after you moisturize and all that good stuff, then you would do your foundation. So, I'm just making sure I don't hit my eyebrows and smear them. 
I didn't put enough on here because I tried to, you know, do a little at a time. But I love this oval brush because it cuts your foundation time down. Like if I put a lot, if I put enough on there the first time, then I probably would have been done. See, I don't want to smear my eyebrows. And I'll have a link below to um, where I review these brushes and where you can purchase them from. I got mine. Um, well, I was sent these to review and I've been using them since like I love them I even use one to do my eyes okay I know you was like you said this was fast but remember I didn't put enough on so now I'm just making sure it's nothing smearing Everything is smooth. Okay. So after that, I'm going to go on with my concealer. It's the, I'm going to use the e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer. And I purchased, purchased this at my local CVS. And I love this concealer. I absolutely, positively love it. We'll be getting a second bottle. It goes on so smooth. It goes into your skin very smoothly. So I'm going to be using this little baby right here. Let me get my mirror. Because I can't see nothing. <laughs> okay. That's better when you try to do it. Where you can see. Oh, sorry. these brushes are okay so then I took this from this contouring kit that I got from five and below and took this lightest brown and took this foundation brush and already kind of went around so now I'm gonna take this one I did this one for the foundation I did this one for the concealer and I'm using this one to blend out what I put around here okay I'm just going Back over that concealer. Now I'm gonna set that with this um, Prep Set and Go by Milani. It's a translucent powder, meaning it's going to come out clear. And you can purchase this from Walmart. You wanna make a crazy face to kind of stretch things that up so you can get in there so it's no creasing. Let me just go down. Go down the bridge of my nose. And I'm kind of going to use this little brush 
to do underneath where I did that contour. this to kind of sweep off and the only thing that's on this is the setting powder that I have right here by fit me and this is in 355 and I'm gonna just go over that contour with that to set that meaning sort of stay in place any kind of foundation or concealer you put on you want to set it I'm gonna blend that out what I did right here and the reason why you do that is to kind of give a shadow effect hide try to hide any double chinage until you can work that off And so with that same powder, I'm going to lightly go over my face. Not even a lot, because I already said it with the translucent powder. And from there, I'm going to use my sun to my thing up. This little bronzing powder right there. And then I'm gonna use some of that middle color that I have left for highlight. Actually, I like to do that after I set my face. Always remember to set your face. I'm gonna set, um, wait a minute, let me put some blush on. I'm gonna use Toast by LA Colors. That same brush that I used to. Sorry about the lighting. It's horrible. And I just go over it to make sure that that's seamless. Now I'm gonna set my face, and this is a Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. Okay. So I immediately take a little bit of highlight after I did that. I just like the look it gives after that. Now I'm gonna use some of this to make sure it's not just packed on in one spot. It's best to use a softer brush a softer brush will just get it on nicely and I like to kind of make sure it's up there a little teeny bit on edge of my nose I like to put some up in this area too then that is it you're ready to go hope you enjoyed this tutorial be blessed